Hello developers, welcome back again. Today we are going to talk about the Tailwind CSS which is updated to a version 4 and remember we have a lot of application where we did everything using the Tailwind CSS on the version 3. So today we are going to see two scenarios. One is that how it's implemented in the new project by default in Next.js they are forecasting on a Tailwind CSS 4. If you go in a new application here if you create any application you're gonna see in dev dependencies is the Tailwind version 4 in upper is just add it now what you're gonna do we're gonna see how we can configure and measure that and then we are having another application which we did before in Telvin CSS3 is a Toulouse e-commerce website and the link it will be added in the description so you can just clone it and try it it's up to you you know I will also drop the video link where I showed how you can configure it or how you can start it from the beginning now to start that if you just go and focus one of our application like I created is a test application now here here, as you see, one thing you're going to be missing is that there is no telwin.config.ts file. And regarding that, you can search uh, some of the documentation in the Google and you can see how they combine it, how they actually made their things inaccessible and how the utilities of functioning is going to happen. Also, you can go in the quick start and, you know, the framework guide is right there at the next shares. You need to just check out what kind of things is now by default is preparing. So this installing the Telwin CSS and Telwin CSS post CSS and that post CSS uh, dependency and then it's just getting the plugins and then import CSS so that CSS is not now previously if you just roll back our previous application which we are talking about in the globals.css uh, let's say just gonna find it and in the globals you see the dependency here is three one is the Tailwind base one is the Tailwind confidence one is the Tailwind utilities but here in our new application these three combined into one so if I just go and open that global to CSS it just Tailwind CSS it's kind of like a very good version on it you know no messy around things is right here now we have our root trajectory we have our theme classification then we have the media queries for the dark theme and then the body so this is a really cool setup now first we're gonna exercise how we can combine right so as you see we have a background here I want to change the background I want to use our own background how we can do that first of all I will just comment that uh, theming uh, criteria here so that it will get just an uh, normal application there now as you see we have some inline parameter here so what I'm gonna do if I want to add a new color how I can do that like a custom color that's also pretty simple to go in that I'm gonna go and like also I'm gonna remove that let's just comment again all of that and also especially the body again uh, okay I think I okay I think it will be better if we just go and comment all together all of it okay so okay what I did okay done so now I should be able to see just a clean build here now I will add a black background how we can add that now as you see in the page if we just go and forecast or we can go also in the layout here in the layout we can now add like you will add a BJ black okay so the background color should be happen to be black you see the black background color is here and also I'm gonna add that text as white so that it will appear okay cool now what we need to do as we are having this thing I want that one instead of writing uh, like in line here I need to pass the class them uh, in the global layer how we can exercise that after the root I will declare a simple things called theme so that will be responsible to create some custom name like here I need to get that color flag so that flag will be responsible to combine that let's say i'm gonna pass the color name as bj color okay and the background color as you see now we cannot use that one right is because we are writing independent css here so we need to directly go in that css format so i'll go with the black color and after that we'll go that color uh let's say body text and I'm using the camel case you can go with any of the formulation you are looking for all it will work so now as you see we have the color BJ color we have our body text now if we go in the layout I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna paste this one and if I just import it like do that as you see 
color is staying means it's working also like if i want to change that one like i will make a uh, let's say instead of that i'll make just a red color you see that color is exercising its purpose so now instead of writing this a single parameter now we can just find that layout and you know those things can really really work and make things handy so now this is just how it can be implemented if you go in the theme if you go in the road this is just a simple way so no tailwind config.ts combination no other parameter just a simple globals.css file and i think it's a pretty clear and pretty good to understand that your css like all the functionality all the configuration it's just lying in the css regime not uh, no other uh, parameter so i'm gonna close this project and i'm gonna go in our existing project where we are com like combining all of this you see everything is just here now from this we need to run it uh like we need to uh, just combine it as you see we have here uh, if you just see here in the tailwind dependency, uh, we are looking for 3.4.1. So let's go and uh, I will just check how we can configure that. So first of all, this command need to be run in our terminal. And what I'm going to do, I think it's in the upper. Yeah, it's in the upper. So if I take a newer version, it will work by default. So I'm going to just make that. And as I'm using the PNPM, so instead of NPM, I'm going to just pass that PNPM. As if you're using NPM, it's up to you. It will be working the similar way. Now, while it's installing that one, uh, let's just go and explore a bit here. After doing that, we should have a postcssconfig.mgs file. Now that postcssconfig.mgs file is right here, you know, it's already working. And as you see, uh, like in the root of, we need to combine those parameters. I think uh, there, I need to add that. Uh, I think that this parameter need to be aligned. So it should be uh, like one of these and then the object if we are going to pass and first foremost so if we go in our let's say we are going in our package.json file and here oh no it's not working like that way so what i'm gonna do uh, we can also make that one like in a simple way there's a lot of way to go so it's a two dependency here if we just see here yeah tailwind css post css and post css to tailwind css okay so th this is a two dependency we can just configure i will just add it again and it will do the same purpose or you can just run the command pnpm update or npm update it will update the package by so far or you can also do that one like you can write that tailwind css this version or a post css then if we just go and pnpm i it will also uh, manage the dependency and put that one in that installation uh, installation process okay so now we are in good position if i go and try to compile let's see what is happening you see the pop in class name and tailwind directory it will not work or so far but we need to configure some of the things first of all i'm gonna copy that and then let's go in that post css config.mgs file let's just grab it here so it will be there and then let's go in the global css and instead of this all of three i'm gonna just implement that one so that should be similar of this okay done and after doing so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna just uh like close the terminal and i'm gonna run that again just to check now oh, when you are just checking within this parameter you'll get a lot of errors so what i recommend you just to go and compile it from the beginning so you're gonna have a fresh build and now you can see the error perfectly now this one why is really helpful because i'm just trying this one with you previously i didn't try it <laughs> so it's just a new to me and also i think it can be uh you can be faced a similar error what i'm facing now when you are trying by yourself at the beginning so let's just see what we are you see the error is coming here and we can we can we can find out what kind of error it's just compiling here uh globals.css okay so cannot apply unknown utility class border border so i think some of the class name parameter which is using here that could be happen to be a problem so let's say border border apply okay why the base is using that i'm gonna remove this one okay one thing is done so we remove the border parameter then what is saying background color okay what i'm gonna do here as we doesn't have the base you see that entire things i'm gonna just comment it so we are not having base anymore okay so the base configuration it will not work okay as you see now 
thing is getting now our television css is working but you know it's breaking because we need to configure the style and parameter but the good thing is that it's working so as you see those design is just kind of not uh look in a proper shape if i also go in the phone details just to view is here and really okay fallback font is happening because you know we are passing the font in the body so we can see the font but not the other parameter how we can inject the other parameter like the colors parameter and other so on so first of all what i'm gonna do let's go to uh, tailwind config.ts file so this one uh, i'm uh, this much color which i really need so i need to happen to be uh, like a partially uh, put that color so i'm gonna just uh, save it somewhere in the note and then i'm gonna remove this entirely so delete so i doesn't have any uh, config file right now let's see if my application is broken uh no it's working fine okay perfect so as things are going to be done and also in uh like in the root here so this base should not be here because nothing is now uh called as a base so we need to remove the base per regime from here and also as you see directly root is accessing so we can now just pass that one uh in the root so i'm gonna just cut from here and as my root a single element i'm gonna pass it here so that it can be accessible same so now as you see i clean up my root here and also i clean up my uh like the dark teaming purposes which we can accessible here right now so what we're gonna do as you see we need to pass the theme color right so that's how we can do that you see the theme remember previously we have been done uh while we are dealing with a tailwind uh, configuration which is calling just at uh at theme okay enter now in the theme we need to uh, pass all of the colors so i'm gonna just roll back my previous color here which we copy pasted uh so that should be let's just uh grab it or i keep that yeah it's right here so i'm gonna paste it here so now this will be my color and again what we need to do we need to remove anything like any string uh, manipulation or anything because we need to just drag and through the pure css color and if you clone my project you can do the same thing right now and it will be helpful and it can work the similar way and it will be uh, like now as you see i need to add my our flag remember the flag which we are dealing here which is the color flag so i'm gonna go with that let's say dash dash color dash okay done so now the color configuration it will work perfectly if i save okay something we are still missing which can be done so instead of that comma we should use the clone so because the css you know the css it will not use uh, it will not use the comma by default so you need to go with the clone and it will be perfectly done so now we are getting the color and you see the color is just generating now as you see that border and other parameter how we can inject that so this really can be a metaphor so we cannot uh like the in the layer of base uh, i think we can use that so we doesn't have the base mm, okay for right now if i go through that now instead of passing that instead uh, like within that layer parameter we can directly inject that one you see the body we can parse in the body i'm gonna just remove that and also as you see no need to adding this one so whatever you have there see in the background color is the body so we can now directly put the background color in the body no need to access that layer so if anything is you can access within the css parameter you can now access it right here easily now i think this is a most like a pretty much more powerful than the version 3 and of course it's a uh, still updating upgrading i think in future it's gonna be a uh, similar like the css which we are writing in so far so that's how you can as, as you see it just take a few minutes to transfer my entire e-commerce scenario as you see actually i just shrink the code that's it i remove the tailwind config.ts file and then i remove all other parameter and now it's working perfectly fine and aligned so that's how as you see in my previous project i just need to change uh like uh in the tailwind config i removed i just uh, added that post css this line and in the globals i just added this line so actually i was removing lots of code here so this is a very good hand and that's a very helpful things you can measure so feel free to clone this one and try it yourself
that you can do it or not if you're facing any problem any error let me know in the comments and i will try my best to help you out and if you're liking this video okay let me also like this video if you're feeling good at it and subscribe the channel and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you're looking at the end and yeah i know e-commerce is pending it's the video is on the making it will come and it will be finished very soon so all the best uh, try to configure that in your existing project and i think the version 4 is more powerful than version 3 and it's really really helpful and it's uh, more like a css right now so all the best to do it and i'm gonna see you in another video